Hello all, so it is the start of a new week and it's actually a bank holiday Monday. Today is actually the UK's national bank holiday for May Day, which means that I don't have to go to work today, which is very exciting. Just gonna be quite a casual day for me today and I think it is around 12 o'clock now. No, 10 past 12 right now. And I am just gonna basically spend the day reading, which is something that I've not done for quite a while. So I'm currently just sat on the sofa. I've got my cushion behind me, got all of my blankets and bits and pieces, and I've got a pile of books. Not because I actually think I'm gonna be able to get through all of those, but just, you know, we, we live and dream. So let's go. Hello, hello, so it's a little later in the day. And as you will have seen, I actually got quite a bit of reading done. I managed to finish Pandora's Jar, and then I moved on to Much Ado About Mean Girls, which was a gift from my mum, and then managed to finish that, because that was quite a quick read. And then I even managed to read The Juniper Tree by Barbara Commons, which was a gift from Kieran at KD Books. So I feel like this has been quite a productive bank holiday Monday. And it's still light outside, so I don't know what's going on there. So yes, I just finished off reading that, and then I also ran upstairs, and I feel like just because I'm on a bit of a high because I've knocked like three books off of my physical TBR I actually decided to have a look at my little TBR trolley and decide to unhaul some things I don't think I'm gonna go into which of the books on my TBR trolley I've decided to unhaul just things that I've realized I'm not really excited for good morning I've got to get the chickens out Gorgeous. No. No, you're not allowed out. Look at them. Hello. Hello, gorgeous girls. I almost had a panic where I thought that I'd lost one of the chickens. <laughs> that would have not have been a good start to the day. She was fine. She was just sleeping. It was fine. But I almost died. <laughs> I just went down that horrible spiral of, oh my God, I've lost one of my housemate's chickens. She is never gonna trust me again. I've only had them for like less than two days, but they're fine. And I just went out now and all three of them were like quite happily <laughs> pl plopping along. Great start to the week. So I popped out during my lunch break to send out my forms for registering for the doctor and the dentist, you know, finally, only been a month then. And I actually stumbled into a charity shop, as I am wont to do, and uh, picked up this top. Honestly, I think it is just a Primark top, but like, I like it. And it's blue flowers. And you know, we know I love some blue flowers. Obviously, would not wear it with these trousers, but these were the trousers I, <laughs> I was wearing today. But I like this. I think it's quite, quite a me. Good morning. It is Friday morning 
and I have the day off from work. We've got a wellness day, which is something that my company is trialing out where we get the first Friday of every month off. The trialing out until July, so I think we've just got two more to do. And I had these big plans that I was gonna wake up, you know, just normal time and I was gonna get ready really early and then I was gonna be able to film all day, get a nice backlog of videos going. But to the surprise of absolutely nobody, I have been lying in my bed for more than an hour just scrolling through my phone. Yay. Mm. I'm just so comfortable in my bed though. <laughs> so I just got my Blackwell's order with my copy of Ariadne and I just ripped open the little pulley bit and I saw the spine and my goodness, I don't think I'm ready for how pretty this book is. <laughs> like, look at that already, it's so pretty. The little bookmark. <gasps> it's so pretty. Look at those pen papers. Is there anything on the side? Oh, signing there. Where's this? <gasps> I've been so tempted recently to go on a big dirge about how much like fiction hasn't been appealing to me recently and that the books that I've been really most keen to pick up have been non-fiction, but like the past few days, there's been some fiction that has landed in my lap that I'm just like, I've basically spent all of this afternoon walking around and um, this is my hair now. So I'd mentioned earlier today about the fact that I hadn't been able to see any eggs when I went to open the chickens up for the day and uh, my housemate then promptly showed me where they were and um, this is how many eggs there were. Hmm. Don't know if I'm going to be able to eat all of those by myself. I just filmed my book haul video of the things that I've bought in the past two months, which includes some of the things that I got from Daunt Books yesterday, and um, it's a lot. I tried to lift them all up, <laughs> went badly, they dropped on the floor. Why do we do this to ourselves? But you know, just as a little preview to that video, I did want to show you a couple of the things that I picked up from Dort Books. I found this gorgeous, gorgeous edition of The Children of Jocasta by Natalie Haynes. I didn't even know that they were re-releasing this in a new edition, but it came out, I think, on the 29th of April. And I'd been wanting to pick this up anyway because I just read Pandora's Jar, so I've been in a bit of a Natalie Haynes mood. And then I saw this and I was just like, you are coming home with me. And then also I actually went to Dawn Books with the intention of picking up The Pull of the Stars by Emma Donoghue. I had been kind of interested in the story, but I, in the big hardback, I was just kind of like, meh. Whereas this is much more manageable. And also after complaining the other day about how I'd not been able to find a copy of Canute, the um, third book in the Penguin Monarch series, a wild Canute, the North Sea King, appeared in Daunt Books, which has just cemented for me the fact that I love Daunt Books and everything it stands for. And I actually did a really embarrassing squeal in the middle of the shop, like it was a completely quiet, silent shop. People were just pottering about, what, buying their own business, buying books, and uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I squealed. And I don't think anybody understands just how long I have been searching for this book. I have been searching for this book for months. I think part of the reason I'd been so slow about reading Athelstan was because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do next, considering I couldn't find a copy of Canoe. So when I saw it, I was just like, mine. And uh, yeah, just me here with all my books. This is a beautiful angle with great lighting. <laughs> okay, we're going back up. So yeah, it's Monday afternoon. I have just finished filming my book haul, which took about 40 minutes to film. And it is about 20 past one now. So I'll be probably thinking about getting lunch really soon. And I feel like I've been quite productive. I spent the morning cleaning the house. I've put a face of makeup on, I've filmed a video. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the day reading if I can. Maybe edit the book haul first and then read. Sounds like a plan.